M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I've decided to get really into the scanner part of our hobby. Now I have never had a scanner. I know that many of my radios are very good scanners, like the FTM 500, FT5, Icon 52, and they have quite, you know, quite a wide range of frequencies and a lot of the frequencies that would be covered for this this device here. Now this is the I've been doing some research and for a handheld and for the correct price now new around 150 second hand under 100 I would say I've gone for the Uniden XLT which is the UK sort of Europe version and I think in the USA it's the AT version it's a slight difference on the I think on the 850 megahertz frequency so if you look down here we get the civil air traffic military aircraft Marine radio, CB band, 10 meter radio, amateur radio, PMR, 446, so probably GMRS, I would say, probably, but not for definite. Professional mobile radio, personal mobile radio, sports, events, church, and more. And it goes on and on. And the other thing is there's some really good software, which I will be delving into for this, which is free software. And if you're in the USA, you use, I think it's called Repeater Search dot com and in the uk you called repeat it's repeater search uk it's a different website um so let's have a look at it we'll do an unboxing i have watched several videos and i always recommend that if you buy anything just watch loads of videos before it arrives and you'll have some some familiarity with with the device so let's just quickly open this up now i've got a disc cone antenna they do come some of these with the sort of budget telescopic antennas but they're no you know they're no good unless you're parked on top of a hill so really you need to, if you're at home you need to get yourself a proper scanner antenna and like i said the one i've got is disco so let's just see what we get in the box here we've got the let's leave it like that hopefully it won't fall out manual there and like these have been out for a few years now they're not a new they're not a new product it's been it has been a few years they've been out so uh, they they have a good reputation. Nice rubber duck there. You get the programming cable that you can connect to the PC for programming, and that all the PC software is really good. Uh, adapter. So yeah, and then in here, what's in here? And I'm chucking it around a bit. We've got the yeah the char the charger. So it's built-in battery on on this device. I think they use. Let's try and get everything out of the way. Pretty sure they use AA batteries, but I might be wrong because I've watched a lot of old videos. So let's um, take this out and get a real close up on it. Got the uh, the rubber duck here, and I've never used one of these ever. I will take off the screen protector, but I, I will also add one on. Uh, you know that, that I sort of, whether I buy it or cut it to size from an old mobile phone, I'm not sure. So let's just turn it on if we know how to. It says band plan straight away. Looks like the backlight is turned off. Battery wise, yeah, there's your rechargeable battery. Let's just see how many are in there a sec. You can see it's just two rechargeable batteries. I've got lots of, most of us have got many of these batteries lying around and it just slides on. So a bit old fashioned, <laughs> tend to have the lithium, but what do you expect? It's an older device. Well, we managed to get in the frequency for HubNet. You push the top button here for volume, push the on off button for light. Wonder if we can change that contrast, make it a bit clearer on the camera. So when you first turn it on, you, you do start, you get message that you just don't understand. And I think I'm gonna do a first time turn it on video from factory reset on this because when you hit say for example you hit scan you get these lockout all channels lockout search that one i've managed to get working don't forget i i, I haven't watched videos yet so i'm going to 
So let me learn the device. I like it. You know, it's they've got it right. There's so many things they've got right about it. It's the, it's the nice size. The antenna seems good. Once we learn how to use it, the buttons are a good size. The fact that they're using the older AA type way of batteries, programming from there and charging. I like it. I think it's, I, I do like it, but I want to learn it uh, before I make any more videos. So thanks for watching my channel, 73.